So with a question like this, your first instinct might be to uh, multiply top and bottom by the complex conjugate of the bottom. Um, but there's a quicker way, and that is to notice that if we multiply top and bottom by e to the minus i y, then we get something familiar, namely something which looks very similar to sine i uh, sine y. So let's 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 do that. So we multiply top and bottom inside the imaginary part by e to the minus i y, and that gives us minus e to the minus i y. Then we notice that this thing here um, is actually the same as um, one over sine y. So if if we multiply top and bottom by i, so I'm going to shove an i in here, and um, I can put I can then multiply by minus i. So multiplying by, I'm basically multiplying this expression by one uh, because minus i squared is is one. Okay, so I've shoved in a i and a minus i. This thing here is just one over uh, one over sine. So this gives me the imaginary part of minus i. Now I, I'm going to get sine y on the bottom. Uh, I finally want the imaginary part of this, so it's going to be simply minus i, and then I've got the, the okay, when well, I expand this I've got uh, cos of y minus i sine y. Okay, since well, it's using Euler's expression, so cos of minus i i y, um, sorry, cos of minus y is uh, the same as cos y, and cos of minus y is the same as minus sine y. Sorry, sine of minus y is the same as minus sine y. Uh, and I, in the end, I want the imaginary part of this, so I can forget this bit here. I just want the imaginary part, which finally is minus. Cot y, cos over sine.